gender issue because that's again a hot potato now because the religions seem to have been kind of you know keeping women uh, at bay saying that you are second rate or now you see the central prayer of the Hindus it's called the Gayatri this is what it's, it says it says let us meditate on the glorious effulgence of that supreme being who has created the universe may she enlighten our hearts and direct our understanding addressing God as she full stop so, in the Hindu tradition, the concept of God itself, not just a father figure, but mother figure is equally valid. Okay, so if somebody says, what is the role of women in Hinduism? We say, many Hindus think God is a woman. That's one. Many of the prophets of the Hindu tradition were female too. Many were female. If you look at the books, you'll see some of the Im images. So, it's not that our idea of concept of God can be female. Our prophets have been male and female. Okay. Now, where did the sati issue arise from? How, do, you know, because you are burning your widow, surely, Mr. Lakhani, you know, and, you know, when the husband is coughing, the wife says, oh dear, I've gone. <laughs> so what's happening with this sati stuff? And where did it come from? Let me give you the background. It's good that you ask this question. There's no scripture of Hinduism which even mentions the word sati. Or there's no such imposition, no injunction. Where did it spring up from? That's the background. When India was invaded by the Muslims about, say, seven, eight hundred years ago, this was standard practice for the Muslim conquerors. Whenever they won a battle, they would not only take over the kingdom, but they would take the wives of the king and make them their concubines, or they would be sold off as slaves. Standard practice. Many of these Hindu women, the queens, were not prepared to lose their dignity and sleep in the bed of the person who just killed their husband. So what they would say, when my husband is being cremated, I'm going to jump on the cremation in the burning, you know, funeral pile and kill myself rather than lose my dignity. Hundreds of women have jumped to their deaths. This is the origin of the Sati tradition. Women trying to hang on to their dignity and I shudder to think about how many women have been have killed themselves in this fashion. I shudder to think about it. This is the origin. Nothing to do with any Hindu scripture anywhere. This is the background. So the idea of the gender issue is this. But also we recognize, look, I say, we have given the highest dignity to women, can say, you are God, or even the prophets were women. We also are very poor practitioners. So in the medieval period, the women were confined to the house, saying that, oh, you can't go and work in greater society. They were confined. The moment you do that, they become a liability, because they are not no, no longer an economic force in the family, and we paid a price for it. And the price was, to get rid of this liability, give dowry. To get rid of the woman, the, the daughter, you give some money to the husband to take her away it's because she's a liability, economic liability. Only in modern India, where women are now taking on roles and activities and careers in every field, women are now becoming again an asset. So that this thing will disappear because the socio-economic landscape is allowing them to escape from this kind of negative position. The Hindu religion has given us the highest dignity. The central prayer addresses God as she. The prophets were women. And finally, if you check out the Hindu homes in the United Kingdom, very lovely thing to check out. Do some statistics. Who rules the roost? Check it. Women. <coughs> so the men like us have to kind of say, well, we'll keep low profile. So this is the reality at real, in, the, in the real world. So women have not been denigrated in that sense. But during the medieval periods, when they were confined, they, were, they created problem for the society. That's why we had the dowry system. And the Sati system has got nothing to do with Hinduism at all. Nothing. Free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.